and welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Miopta Optica HD. Now these are the 10x42s. Now they do come in the 8x42s or the 10x42s, which is the model we're going to be looking at today. Uh, their price range is uh, around $300 US or according to current Lausche exchange rates, $400 Canadian. The important things to know about this, these optics is they have magnesium housings, which is something largely uh, held for the upper tier binoculars. It's not something you usually get for between 300 and 400. So other than that, probably the most important feature is the glass, which is why you're looking at these binoculars anyway. Uh, they call these the Optica HD, whereas they probably should have called them the Optica ED because uh, they have ED glass, extra low dispersion. So ED is one step up above HD. Now, I'm assuming they probably called it HD for marketing reasons. Most people associate to HD over ED. They probably wouldn't know what ED means unless they're very familiar with glass quality. Anyway, these are ED glass, which is very important. Uh, other than that, it has three positions for the eyepiece. One, two, and three. It has a diopter adjustment for uh, those of you who have glasses. These are going to be necessary. Uh, I don't need it, so I didn't really get to test it all that much. <laughs> Other than that, it has 15 millimeters of eye relief, which is just enough if you have glasses. Although the 8x42s have 17. So keep that in mind. If you have glasses, maybe the 8x42s might be a better option for you because a little bit more eye relief is going to be better with those glasses on. These binoculars have um, a field of view of 105 meters wide at 1,000 meters. And the 8x42s have 131 meters wide at 1,000 meters. I think we've touched on most of the details other than these have lifetime warranties and are made in the European Union, which is very nice. It's something we kind of look for. All right, now without further ado, let's start looking at the glass quality. So having tried these binoculars for a few days now, um, I gotta say the glass is really, really nice. It's definitely something you're gonna want in your hunting kit. Now I chose the 10 by 42s. These might not be ideal for hunting unless you're, you're hunting at longer distances. For example, like here, I'm at 500 meters. Uh, I have 500 to 1,000 meters. Now, you might want to go with the 8x42 because you're going to have a lot, much larger field of view. So that might be a better option for you. Anyway, let's start looking through this glass. And you guys can make the decisions on your own. All right, so the first target is at 100 meters paper target the second one is a steel target which is at 300 and the last one is at 520 meters now as you should be able to see uh through this gopro the glass is really clear i mean this brings out a lot of uh a lot of the, the fine details of uh, what's out there and this is at 700 meters those trees right there All right, now this, what you're about to see, is at 1,050 meters. So the brush on the left side in the corner of that field right there is at, not, uh, sorry, is at 1,050 meters. So as you can see, I mean, this glass is really clear. It brings out a lot of resolution. It brings out a lot of detail. All right, now what you see right there, uh, the road is actually at 1,000 meters, and I'm actually not able to get a reading on uh, the trees in the far distance beyond. Although uh, the rangefinder I have is right at 2,400 meters. Uh, what do I think about these binoculars? Well, do I have any actual complaints? I actually do. I have one small complaint. These. The uh, shoulder strap loops are rather sharp. The little edges here dig into your fingers. Now, if I am adjusting the focus, which this is how I would do it, well, this is digging right into my finger, and that little sharp thing is kind of annoying. 
Um, other than that, I really don't have any complaints. I mean, these binoculars are quite astounding. They're very nice and glass quality. For those of you who don't know binoculars all that well, you don't really want to spend anything less than like 280 US because below that, the quality really drops drastically. It's, it's a really a big gap between the 260 and then once you hit 300 and up, it's, it's a big difference. After $300, well, it goes up in very minor um, improvements, so. Keep that in mind. And this is a very good compromise. You have ED glass, which is pretty much top of the line, and you have magnesium housing, so it's even stronger. Now, it, these do have lifetime warranties, but I mean, I'm assuming with these magnesium housings, you may never need to use it. If you guys enjoyed this review, consider hitting like, consider hitting subscribe, and I'll see you on the next review.